Hello and welcome. My name is Kelly Kennedy. I'm the uh, communications manager here at BTCM. I'm here with Mr. Yowei Yang. Hello. He's our chief economist and he just started... When did you start? A week ago. A week ago? Yeah. And uh, so I'd like to do a quick interview to introduce him to you all. Uh, I guess we'll start off with some background. Why don't you start off at college? Sure, yeah. So I came to the United States uh, almost 10 years ago, starting my undergrad at Kansas State University studying agriculture economics and, and statistics and uh, my main focus back then in school besides learning a course was to focus on the commodities markets my internship my uh, school research and also first job out of college are mostly commodities related uh, started with agriculture and then become more into energy and a little bit metals as well great thank you and then after college you went into yeah, that's the the first job I was uh, gonna talk about. It would be uh, it's the Stone X. It's a commodities futures clearing merchant. Um, have been doing the commodities business for o over a hundred years almost. And then my main role, starting starting out as uh, analyst, was to understand market fundamentals, trying to understand the supply demand of agriculture and energy com commodities, in specifically corn, soybeans, natural gas, crude oil. Um, and livestock uh, and also some metals like gold and silver to understand their consumptions, exports, and then looking around all the models to figure out the potential market movement based on our conversations and uh, discussions around the modeling analysis. Great, thank you. And so uh, during this time, you were also working toward a PhD. Can you talk about what that looked like on a daily basis? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so that's actually a very uh, special setup the company had for me and I really appreciate it for that from a previous employer that uh, StoX allowed me to part-time working uh, while I started my PhD study at year second uh, working for them. So basically I worked a, a full year uh, full-time and then uh, four year part-time and then after I uh, finished my PhD uh, I worked again for StoX uh, as a director of financial analytics mainly on commodities and crypto and uh, data. So that's a kind of a full six years of experience working for StoneX uh, with two sides being the full-time and the in the middle be part-time, but mostly still being on commodities and there was last year and a half mostly on crypto based, uh, primarily in the institutional uh, side, meaning that hedge funds, uh, banks, institutions who are getting involved into uh, one step, step at a time into the crypto community uh, and uh, my role is to heading up the research, uh, the market research, commentary, uh, market an analysis for the firm's clients who are looking into crypto, especially in institutions. Excellent, so that's where your interest in cryptocurrency came from. Yeah, actually my crypto interest coming from a PhD program, believe it or not, since some people think school does not teach too much. But actually, my main uh, main idea and interest was coming from my PhD study at Cornell University, uh, and we had a IC3, which is Initiative of Cryptocurrency and Contracts. Uh, it's an organization at, at school, and also there's Cornell uh, Blockchain Club, and also my advisor is the head of FinTech Initiative. So I was in, involved in all of these organizations at Cornell, and uh, I was participated in some of the projects. Uh, and uh, funded at Cornell and also uh, being advised by, by my advisors. In the same time, I was also analyzing uh, 2,000 cryptocurrencies of their financial properties, looking to see if they are market efficient, uh, they are predictable, uh, and then to look at if there is any long memory in the system, and also to, to see how blockchain can be used in different scenarios like uh, financial accounting, reconciliation, um, trading and also supply chain of food and agriculture and uh, so that's kind of my actually uh, PhD dissertation was about, was on uh, half is on finance the other half is on the applications of blockchain so that's how we come together was uh, was the foundation and also I helped with some tokenomics uh, because my uh, uh, committee member professor Will Tone who is a tokenomics expert he advised several uh, top blockchain projects. I was kind of on the side helping him as a research assistant uh, designing that tokenomics for some blockchain projects. 
That's awesome. Thank you. So you're well prepared and well suited for this position. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> How has your transition been so far to be BTCM? Yeah, it's been a very, very smooth and uh, interesting transition. I really enjoyed uh, meeting with all the people, Kelly and all the colleagues here. Uh, very people are very friendly and uh, very thoughtful. It's true. <laughs> for sure, yes. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a Chinese company transitioned over to Hong Kong and then to U.S. over the last 20 years. Uh, being built, assist, uh, being built uh, the history, but then I, I can see there's definitely a space I can help to grow for the firm, especially in the uh, energy procurement and uh, the trading perspective for the firm, uh, with the understanding of the quantity markets and the crypto trading markets uh, that I have been involved with. That's great. So you've already been working on a power situation for us. Yes. Can you yes. Talk a little bit about that. Yes. Yes. Um, with all the turmoil with energy market, crude oil, natural gas, uh, electricity markets has been uh, highly impacted as well. Uh, and that's one of our key inputs, as you can think of, crypto mining using power to generate Bitcoins and, or other coins. So uh, if we buy cheap on uh, energy, that's gonna be crucial for us. And uh, we did experience a little bit uh, headache and challenges over the last six months ish uh, with the uh, energy prices because of uh, the Ukraine uh, Russia conflict and also the inflation all across the globe and then the power price has been jumped more than double so our price was not fully hedged uh, during that time that's that's why we got hit a little bit because of that margin being shrinked and uh, we have been dedicatedly last couple of weeks um, trying to understand and negotiate uh, the power markets, trying to procure a cheaper uh, price. And we are making quite uh, substantial progress recently. And hopefully next week we'll be able to start having some uh, lower price uh, with energy. But that's, that's a long run, so we have to make sure we procure the energy at a reasonable price with a, a risk management way for the next year or two or five. For our long-term planning shout out to david lin as well for helping us on that project exactly so uh <laughs> david lin and also mr ma and uh mr tong a few other people on the ohio mining center team i was actually there last week working together with them side by side day and nights to try to figure out the energy situation since i was new to the firm uh, they basically trying to bring me on together so kelly and i actually drove together to ohio uh, and we had a good time uh, besides work, but also mainly to figure out um, trying to understand the situation and how to fix fix that problem and then come up with new solutions that right now we are going to be able to have a cheaper power price for the next eight months before we figure out the next year afterwards. So speaking of that, what are there any um, general plans for a focus on ESG and sustainability? Yeah, sure. That's definitely a hot topic across the whole uh, economy besides crypto mining specifically. And uh, uh, we are among one of the one of the many firms as well that we are actively exploring solutions to ESG, even though we are not yet implemented because uh, there are still, still a lot of transition and construction going on. But we're actively looking for a solution, uh, say, start using more clean energy, and then transition some of the uh, businesses to uh, other areas besides POW. So that's one of the business lines we're looking to expand further in, in, the, in the long term. But that's not a concrete plan yet. We're still in discussions internally. And then hopefully we can come up with more strategic plan in the next couple quarters and then we have more to say in the upcoming announcements later on. Great. Thank you. Yeah. So um, we. We've been focused pretty much on the S and the G, though. We've been, you know, hiring people in, in Ohio, and we've been focused on uh, just creating a community as well with our with our partners in Ohio. And yeah, good job on the Kent State University. Uh, uh, the tailgate and also the, the the big plan was working with students at the night university in local to support that local economy and building that like, community. Uh, we are having that responsibility for that uh, local economy and the community around that area for young groups to be, become professional in data centers, in finance, accounting, 
and uh, strategic uh, and business development, all that different angles that our business are evolving. Besides Ohio, we have also uh, colleagues in LA, New York, and a few others in, in, in other states of US, uh, trying to kind of gauge the US economy much better and then to contribute our efforts into hiring and responsible for the social and the, the societal communities. Great. So in summary, uh, basically we're going to shore up the power price at a current situation and then look towards the more sustainable long term. Yes, for sure. Very good. So we'll have looking into commodity futures options strategies so we can better hedge the future risks and also have forward and f forward contracts and futures contracts working together combined, uh, coming up with, with a more st stable and uh, affordable uh, power prices. And then obviously having the uh, Bitcoins and other coins on the other side as output, better manage that risk to sell at a proper time. That's the goal for my initial setup. And I'm hopeful for uh, other uh, communities, uh, other opportunities to working together with uh, Kelly and David Lee and uh, all the other uh, colleagues to better and uh, broader things. Great. Well, it's yeah. so good to have you. Thank you. And Thank you. My board. pleasure to join. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all.